I wish, or well, I hope this, you see the struggle that one goes to achieve their dream and their goals and their manifestations. Um, but I just really wanted to show you this wall. Um, haven't named it, could call it the Wall of Spa, but basically what we have here is the poster for the short film we made in 2018. We have all the TV channels that we're going to... Um, that we're going to target, we're going to pinpoint, not all of them, just the ones in the UK, but we are looking for worldwide, baby. We're looking for worldwide. Um, so yeah, we've got that. We've got um, treatment, short treatment. You can see all the commissioners on this wall. Yep. The future belongs to those that believe in the beauty of their dreams. The future belongs to those that believe in the beauty of their dreams. A teacher actually bought that when I was a TA at, um, at a school. Um, Sugar Ray, Sugar Ray, the great Sugar Ray Leonard, one of the greatest. Um, and yeah, here's my contract, my contract for spa. I give a contract to myself and I have to adhere by that. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that in this box room um also that's my feature film sweet boy which i directed in 2014 i was in my 20s then i'm now in my late 30s i don't know why i told you that um it was a tough tough shoot anyway so uh it's been a bit of a frustrating day today. It's weird, I just finished my workout and I was feeling on a high, I was feeling good. Uh, dopamine was kicking in after the workout and then I got an email from a t TV channel. I won't say what TV channel it is, very well known TV channel. Um, they'd watched Spa, they'd discussed it. Um, yeah, I'm very grateful that they took the time out to watch it, it was the development. I think it was the head of drama of the TV channel as well, but they, they passed on it. Um, so yeah, frustrating. Um, yeah, like I am grateful that they did watch it, but it's not really the news that, that I wanted. Um, and I guess for me, I'm not, I am a bit disappointed, but I'm not, you know, disheartened. I'm disappointed, but I'm not disheartened because I feel like this journey, I feel like all my life I've had to like work really, really hard to get. Yo, what's good? Just picking this up. So yeah, as I was saying, yeah, I just went for a walk to clear my head. We did get rejected by a broadcaster. Uh, television broadcaster it's all good it's all good it's all good um for me personally i just need to go harder but i'm disappointed but i'm not disheartened i just need to go harder there's a there's a scene in social network and it's like we we have to expand and for me that just means i need to put more of my own money in marketing uh more of my own money in like marketing and i need to send more emails yeah i just need to um i just need to work harder the thing is as well like hard work for me hard work i love it i love the challenge i love pushing myself so I'm gonna do that. And this is uh, this is the journey that I'm on, you know what I mean? From when I made my first feature film at 28 years old, 10 years later now, here we are. I just need to grind harder. Uh, yeah, it, would, it maybe would have been too easy if this TV broadcaster would have said yes. So that's... Uh, that's the journey that we're on. Another thing that I've realized is no, no means not today. Yeah. 
that's one thing no means not today yeah so it is where it is um and for me this is the journey and the destination like the um this is the destination because at the end of the day when it does get commissioned and it will and when it does find a platform and it becomes one of the bigger shows in the world which it will there will there'll be another another thing like another tv show or movie to direct and produce so you know the destination is ongoing and in some ways like the destination is the journey um so that's kind of like how i feel about that um but we just need to keep working we need to work harder we need to focus well, i am focused i just need to work work harder because you know there's there's avenues and like potential for this show that i haven't even explored and in life we always want it easy we always are attracted by the destination it's even like when i became a bafta member like the amount of people that called me and like rang me and i'm so grateful for that but i'm like it's the grind and the hard work that got me there like um you gotta remember i haven't even got like a representation i haven't got like a a team like a huge team like it's a very lonely journey and you just gotta you just gotta grind it out man can't be apologetic you can't like you can't feel sorry for yourself you just gotta keep going you just gotta work 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 is attractive i think that's the greatest the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was making work feel like it ain't attractive and that it's difficult and hard and sad and now work is like work is attractive like it really is it's not actually the result of the work it's the work itself so i'm actually really excited i'm feeling i'm feeling i don't want to use this word gassed because i never use this word <laughs> i'm feeling actually really excited for what's to come peace A the time is what is the time? Times six minutes past five. Um, we're here on another day writing for episode five of Spa. Um, and yeah, I'm really just I'm in the zone right now in terms of focus. Um, intention um, and discipline so yeah we're gonna get this written I think the plan is to just do another five pages don't want to do too much don't want to do too little just want to spend you know a couple of hours just you know writing a scene or two with the detail and the clarity that you know it deserves so yeah i just want to just want to get focused get this done yeah i'm feeling good i'm feeling good i'm feeling good it's been um it's been a lot going on this month um so um this project you know, I, I, I feel that it represents more than just a TV show or a feature film. It's, you know, it's a clothing brand. It's a way of life. Um, the Wake Up and Fight brand is is something that's just motivating me to keep going. So I feel very much anchored in that sense. I was up to about 11 working on the clothing brand. Um, Spa Fighter Apparel, which will be launching later this year so I'm, I'm very excited um it, yeah it's crazy that it represents so much more than just a show um it's a brand and um i can't wait to share that with the world as well so anyway 
let me get back to work. Sending love. Love, 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 love. Yo, what's good? What's good? Uh, 20 past five in the morning. Um, guess what? We are writing the final episode of Spa. Episode. That's five, by the way. Yeah. Um, reason why we're up this early, it's, it's going to become a common thing, actually. Um, 5 a.m. is because that's when there's pure silence. There is pure silence at 5 a.m. Everyone's asleep. Um, so it gives me time to just like lock in. Um, yeah, man. Uh, writing on spec, I've been writing on spec for most of my life um, with most independent filmmakers you know they won't be waiting for a commission they'll be writing on spec so obviously this has been like six seven years of my life and yeah it's coming up to half five let's get in